if you're working with structure Gantt and would like to know if delaying specific task would delay the whole project, or in other words, if the task is on critical path, this video is for you. Critical path is one of the key terms in waterfall project management and one of the most often used feature in basically all the tools that are supporting this kind of project management in Jira and in Atlassian environment. This video is part of our effort to provide the best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave the comment below if you have any questions and remember that you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like trainings, consultations or tool implementations. Alright, so let's jump right into the structure. You can see that I have one of my structure or structures over here, which covers quite a lot of tasks and they are already to some degree planned on the timeline with dependencies. Now, what if I want to see which tasks are on the critical path? So basically delaying each of these tasks will cause delay in whole project. Well, this is pretty straightforward. We can go over here to the menu and select critical path. You will see that now tasks that are being on critical path are marked with this red or dark orange boxes around them. Also dependencies between these tasks are also highlighted. So basically we know that there are, I think, four tasks in my project that are, that are on critical path how the critical path is calculated or, or how structure checks if the task is on critical path. Well, it starts with checking what's the last end date of the task in my structure, right? So there is nothing ending after that. Then it marks it as being on critical path. And then it checks what are the dependencies with this task. If there is dependency, direct dependency, it marks also these tasks as long as, as uh, yeah, basically moving the end date of this task would move the next one. So that's pretty straightforward, or it appears to be so, but there are several things you need to look out for. So first of all, let's edit this task and let's change the time tracking. So I will I will actually go over here and change the original estimate because for me at the moment uh, the schedule is done automatically so how long task takes on the timeline is actually done based on the estimate. So now you can see that this task got longer and currently only single task is over here on the timeline, on the critical path. It might be a bit counterintuitive, uh, but logically it makes sense. This is the last end date uh, that we have in our project. This task is just very long. So you, if you want to use critical path in structure, you need to remember that you shouldn't have tasks that are basically going throughout whole project because it will make this feature kind of a useless. Uh, it will just mark one task and won't provide you any added value. So this is first thing you need to look out, of, look out for. Second thing that you need to look out for is a bit more tricky. So I will go to the settings of my structure and I will allow manual scheduling. As I mentioned, currently it is automatic. So it's my timeline and whole my, my whole Gantt chart is based on the estimates and dependencies between the tasks. Now, where the tasks is on the timeline will be based on the custom fields that are on these tasks. These custom fields are start and end date. So I will ma allow manual scheduling. And I will see that my structure completely changes uh, this Gantt chart because it's taking or it's putting the, the tasks on the timeline based on the uh, start and end date. So now the, the tasks that previously were on the critical path are no longer there. Uh, let's try to quickly find the tasks that are on critical path. 
or maybe the task. There can be single one. Mm -hmm. It seems that this epic is taking the longest. Yeah, so there is single task on the critical path. Uh, and despite having dependency with other tasks, the other task is not marked as being on critical path. Why is that? Well, it's because due to the manual scheduling, this dependency is not really respected by structure. So you can see I can move this task however I want. It won't affect the other task. If I want the other task to be moved, I need to do this manually. What, do, why does, what does it mean? It means that if I move this one, it does not affect in any way the end date of the task on which it is dependent. That's why structure considered this one as not being on critical path. Changing the end date of this task, delaying this task does not delay the whole project. So this is really, really important. Uh, if you have manual scheduling so that these dependencies do not affect following tasks, I would say that critical path is pretty much useless. It, of course, it will show you the last task in your project. This is something that you can then manually by yourself check what are the dependencies and what are the other tasks that you should be careful with, but it doesn't provide you as much value as for the automatic scheduling. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful. If you struggle with this or any other feature, remember you can always reach out to us, uh, providing consultation and support for project management tools in Jira is our bread and butter. So whether you struggle with any specific feature or you have more top level questions on, on how to address specific topics, we're here to help. Thanks for this one and see you in the next one.